Hey guys, and today I have a clothing holiday haul, or a holiday clothing haul. Yeah, that sounds better. So I've been spending some money on some clothes for my holiday specifically, but that I can wear in the UK on a, on a summer day as per usual. We don't get that much great weather in the UK. Apart from the past two or three weeks, we've had some really great hot weather. Also, I have a parcel that is going to be arriving today and I'm really excited for it because it's Harry Potter and the Cursed Child script part one and part two of the play. I haven't seen the play, so if I dash off, that is why. So you'll probably see an unboxing of that in this video. If it doesn't arrive, then it doesn't arrive. Let's get on with the video. So lately I've really been into kind of like boyfriend tees or like um, I think what's come back in style is like beach striped t-shirts or check t-shirts or whatever you want to call them, blouses. So first of all I have this blue striped um, beach shirt, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this because my camera is like so zoomed in. absolutely love this, looks great with hair down, hair up and it's just that kind of like flowy t-shirt um, that's really nice in the hot weather with a bit of breeze. It's, it's, it's a nice comfy t-shirt, t-shirt, blouse, shirt, shirt, whatever, it's a shirt. <laughs> what I really love about this top, because it stands out from all the other Primark ones that they have, is the fact that it has these sleeves, no buttons on them, but they just sit right on the elbow and that's how far they go. So the quarter length sleeves which just make it feel a lot more comfortable. I think you can fold them up, which is great, and you don't have that, you know, that uh, an attachment where you have to fold it up with a button and it unfolds in the wash and all that drama. The shirt was £8, which I thought was pretty, well, it's Primark, it's a bargain. I mean, anywhere else that would cost quite a lot more. During the same time, they did have the same top, but in a kind of like a pinky red version, and um, they didn't have it in, in my size, however months later they did and so here it is, I haven't actually done the button up on this, but this is the white and reddy pink striped one and I really liked both, I prefer the blue one but then I tried this on and I really really liked it. It's not so red that it's shocking, whereas the blue is, it's kind of a little bit, the colour's a bit more lifted, this is a bit more toned down so it's a bit more beachy, a bit more summery and I think I'm going to be taking this to Italy with me, so I love this, I absolutely love that and again that's £8. Primark also bought in these best tops and they're just, I don't know, they're really simple and they're so like pretty. I think they make your outfit look sophisticated, yet class, you know, kind of classy, like dressed up a bit more, it makes that casual outfit a bit more classy and uh, like you've made a bit more effort I think. I hate the material velvet and when I saw it I thought it was velvet. When you touch it, it is not velvet and it's kind of this soft, soft, I don't even know what you'd call it. It feels like a cuddly toy. That's how soft it is. This is in the grey. They did do it in a brown and a green when it was first brought to the store and I did say to my best friend at the time if they bought one in baby blue, like it would not be a question whether to get it or not because I just I just really imagine this in the baby blue and it would look gorgeous. Um, th this though, this is five pounds, which I thought was a bargain at the time when I said that if they did a baby blue, um, then I would buy it. I didn't think they would actually go and do it. They brought it out in baby blue and I freaked out. I'm so glad they had my size, which I've gone down in the sizes of Primark. I don't know where I've lost weight or whether the sizes have changed but I used to be like a size 8 in everything now I'm a size 6 in practically everything which I'm happy for but kind of like where what is going on like is it me or is it them absolutely love this I think I'm going to be taking this to Spain, uh, Spain that was last year Italy and yeah I just it's just so cute I love it next we have which I thought would go really well with the baby blue vest and this is just a, a um, grey slash silver jacket. It's it's a, it's a bomber jacket, but it's kind of like in a cardigan material. I love the fact that it's grey. It's one of my favourite colours in this season. And it just has this silver, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that at all, but it has this silver um, thread running all the way through the jacket. And, and it goes really well 
with the baby blue. This was £12. I got this as an inner size 10 because with jackets I like them a little bit baggier, not so tight fitting. In case you're wondering, <laughs> I haven't actually mentioned this yet, but my friend at work did henna on my hands. I've never had it done before and I really, really like this. It's just, she did it so fast and so quick and I just, I love it. It's so cool. So for this holiday, well last, last year I had shorts practically all the time and I just felt I wanted something a little bit more comfortable, not so much denim and something that was light weighted and felt just really nice on my legs I guess. I spotted this in Primark, Most of, this is pretty much the Primark part of the heart haul. I got these which are basically, I don't know what you'd call them, just casual trousers I guess they're just really nice material they have pockets which I'm so chuffed about so I've put my phone in there and other bits it has this really nice little bow and you can tighten it it's elasticated and I can't remember how much these were I think these were yeah these were like eight or six pounds and I thought they were gonna be like 10 and I checked the price and I was like oh my gosh I have to get these they're so they're so cheap and they would go really nice with my grey vest or even a white top. I just, I, I don't know, I love them. I've already worn them, worn them when we had a super hot day and me and my best friend were going Pokemon hunting and I wore a white top with it, my sun hat, and I loved it. I absolutely love these. They're just totally what I wanted. For some time now I've been wanting a kind of jumpsuit slash dungarees but I never really found one that I, had a real, I liked or really suited me until a colleague of mine um, at work said have you checked out the dungarees or the maxi dresses we have on sale and I was just like no she's like do it now she's like telling me to do it because she just priced them all down and so I waltzed on over there well didn't literally waltz it didn't take me long but I spotted this this is a gorgeous gorgeous play, um, play jumpsuit so it's like full length play suit it's just no sleeves but just like shoulder straps and it also has pockets and it's just baby blue as well I don't know baby blue is just my colour this year a lot more than last year it's normally around spring but I've fully gone like first half this year it's been it's been greys and blues constant greys and blues and I, I, I don't know I, but I just really really love this this was this was £15 down to £7, so I got this for £7 and I thought that was a freaking bargain. Primark bought out some new Harry Potter pyjamas, they brought out a whole new range of pyjamas and I was like no don't buy them, don't buy them, just don't, don't do it. And then I saw this pair of pyjamas and I was like okay I don't have a pair like that, but I love these ones, I really really do. Again it's grey and white, it says Hogwarts on there, but the print's in like a dark, dark blue and they have these silver like stars on them. So that's the top and the bottoms, they feel really silky the bottoms do which is what led me to purchase them really. Again dark blue and white uh, with the Marauders map printed all the way over it. Just absolutely love it and then they cuffed at the bottom with this cotton material. These were £10 and again Primark pyjamas, can't go wrong, they're a bargain. So to go with the jumpsuit, I found this gorgeous top. No one was buying these, so I don't know whether it's me or whether people just don't like them, but I really, really, I fell in love with this as soon as I saw it. I did see it a couple of days before, or weeks before, but I didn't know if it would suit me, but I tried it on and I absolutely fell in love with it. It's made of viscous and it's just this really nice, I don't know, like, feels almost vintagey, like Victorian. It buttons up at the back, two little buttons. And it's just got this nice lacy print on the front. And this was, this is 10 pounds. A little bit pricey, but I just really liked it. 10 pounds plus a jumpsuit, 17 pounds. Full on outfit for 17 pounds. Not gonna complain. So I needed a new swimming costume and there wasn't many I liked until one day before I finished my shift I spotted this one and it's baby blue. <laughs> the inside is like mint, it's just so pretty and the one thing I really love about this is that it doesn't tie up behind your neck 
and you don't have to like fasten it anywhere you just get in it and it's just that's what the back looks like so you just put those over your shoulder and this was 13 pounds my lucky number meant to be I found last year when I went to the swim pool I would always buy I would always wear my denim shorts or like a little jacket over the top of my swim costume but I thought this year I really want something that I can just really easily slip off and won't have to like stand there trying to undo my buttons and stuff so I bought myself some shorts now I think <laughs> these are just for, like for normal lounging around wear but I really thought they would look dead cute with my swim costume they're just white and they've got this uh, kind of like crocheted um, lace pattern going on at the bottom they're just really silky, can you see how, I'm not sure if you can see how see through that is, but they are fairly see through so I wouldn't wear them for loungewear so I specifically bought these to wear with my swimming costume when I'm by the pool and these are £5, so the other day, literally, my mum went wanted to go in Primark to buy herself a top and um, there was a top that I'd had my eye on for a few weeks and I thought, do they still have it in stock? If they do, I'll get it. If they don't, then I'll just obviously leave it because I can't get it. I found it on like the bottom shelf of all these like folded stretch tees and you know all the just casual cheap tees. And this is basically it's basically a long sleeve top. And this is what it looks like. It's really, really, really cute. It's baby blue again. <laughs> it's got all these white hearts on. I just really think it's dead cute and. Um, this is a size 8 and they didn't have a size 6 but so this is a little bit like um, baggy on me but I kind of like it, it fits if it it's alright, it doesn't show inappropriate parts or anything. This actually said it was £3, got to the till, it was a quid, it was a pound. I was so chuffed, I was like right I'm so glad I got it when I did because any earlier it would have cost me 3 Next thing I'm just so so excited about, my friend Scarlett, she, she and I are like crazy about Harry Potter and yeah, as soon as she um, told me she bought it, I was like, darn it, <laughs> maybe I should get it. And I tried it on and I fell in love with it. So yeah, I wasn't gonna get it, but then I did. And it's the Harry Potter grey jacket. You have may seen me wear this on Instagram. I think this was 14, 14 pounds, I think. Um, but the niggly bit I have is the badge. Now, I don't know whether this is a legality or, you know, problem with getting the rights, but every time they do a few Harry Potter things, some of them are right, but every time they do the badge or logo on shirts, Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw are always different. So in this in this case, um, Hufflepuff is like this really dark muted blue, whereas Ravenclaw is a pale blue. But yeah, that's the only thing. It's dead comfy. It's a really nice material and I just love it. I wore this to Alton Towers that I went with some work friends and I just I really loved it. Even though I work in Primark I don't get to see every single item that's in stock so sometimes my friends will send me something and I'm like that's from Primark? I'm like seriously I haven't seen that so then I have to go to that section after I finish work and see if they have it. Now this this was the case with Disney's new jewellery. As you can see, if you can, I am wearing the gold um, Mickey Mouse earrings that I got a few months ago. And my friend Scarlett texted me as I was leaving work or as I was, yeah, I think I was leaving work. She texted me and she said that they'd brought out exactly the same range but in a different colour. <laughs> and because the, these Primark Disney jewellery is just so cheap, it's just, why not? Just, get, just do it. So I kind of now have a backup of my gold um, collection, but in silver. So this, as you can see, this little um, collection of earrings. We have Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse's bows, and then Mickey Mouse with jewels in them. This little packet was £2.50. And then we have the bedazzled or jeweled um, signature Mickey Mouse chain necklace and this was £3 and then we have not gold but rose gold so can't go wrong I have a gold one and it's starting to turn like a little bit silver so I'm hoping this one doesn't has any of your Disney jewellery done that from Primark turns like rusty it's not really rusty it's just losing its colour not not so much the actual charm more more of the necklace is losing its colour I don't know but that's just that's just that I guess 
This was like the first top I bought for my holiday to Italy. It's from New Look and I tried it on and it's just, it's really nice. It fits so well and I love it. I think this was around about 10. I think it was 10 pounds, 9.99. Just a simple like tank top with palm tree leaves on it. And then it has a kind of little slit at the back. The next two tops are from Next. Now originally, this particular top I saw in a dress. I served a customer in Primark wearing the dress in this pattern and I really liked it but when I tried the dress on it was just not, it didn't fit me right. But I really wanted the pattern in something because it's kind of like this um, teal green I guess. It's really like, I can't really explain it, it's like a, an electric teal um, green and I just really really love the daisy print and the, the bottom comes in and basically is elasticated so it kind of brings it all in so it's baggy but it like brings it all in at the bottom which I really like it just makes for a really nice comfortable fit these were how much were these I think these were 10 pounds each or 12 pounds each I really wanted another one because I knew I would wear these a lot um, and I decided to go for this baby blue um, print but again, I got these in a size 6. Love both of these. Gonna be wearing them in Italy. I'm just gonna have a whole load of clothes where I'm like, do I really need to take all this? Forever 21 always tempt me with their sales. It was like 50% off or 70% off. It was really it was a really good sale. Like I really wish we had a store in Leicester, but sadly we don't. However, checked a few of the items. There was two tops that I really liked. And the first top, I really, really love this top is this one. They did this in two colours. Now I wanted the other colour to begin with but then when I saw this one and it came I was like no I'm actually glad I went with this one. It's a lot more summery and I don't really have that many pink items. So yeah I love the pattern. You've got cute star, star shaped flowers and leafy flowers and the pattern at the bottom is like leafy paisley and a darker, a darker orangey peachy pink. Not so much white, it's cream and then the pattern is all in pink, purple and is that blue? No, it's lilac. It's kind of like lilac. I don't know, it's just really, really nice. Oh, I absolutely, I think I've worn this in a video as well. I think I wore this in Tanya Burr's um, new makeup range. So it's this cream slash white, again, that vintage Victorian kind of style top. It's really flowy, like, and I mean it's really flowy, it's just so nice. I think it's made of viscous and the sleeves just come to about quarter length or just about here. It has some gold buttons on it, I really like it. Love that. Really have been wanting a nice new summer dress for church or for just regular going out in the sun and just wearing something really nice, light and breezy. I don't really shop at, at Dorothy Perkins that much but my best friend has bought a few things from there. We walked in there and I spotted some really nice dresses and there was this one dress, this dress, that I just fell in love with. I just love the fact that it's baby blue, almost mint and it's got these really pretty white and navy blue tulips on them. I didn't actually buy this from the store, I bought it online with 20% discount. Low stock on the size 8 and the, the size 6 and I didn't have enough money at the time to buy a size 6 and an 8 to try which one would fit me better. So I went with a size 8, it came, it was really baggy, it didn't fit me right and I was like oh no, the size 6 is not going to be in stock anymore, which it wasn't. I was so gutted. I sent an email to Dorothy Perkins explaining my situation, they said just keep it for now and if a size 6 comes back in stock, um, buy it and then send the 8 back. So that is exactly what I did. I think it was 4 weeks until the size 6 came back in stock. I was checking every day like a crazy woman and the size 6 came back in stock. I was out at the time, I'm always out when this happens, coming back home and I saw it and I was like standing there like trying to buy it. I bought it, it came, it fit, it was fine. Now when I bought the size 6 there was no discount and I bought it for its full price. However, when the dress 
came, it fit perfectly. I let Dorothy Perkins know. Their customer service, by the way, is phenomenal. I love it. The lady that dealt with me, she just was so nice and so kind and outgoing. So Dorothy Perkins, thumbs up for your customer service because it was brilliant. I explained that I originally bought the size 8 on a discount. Is there any possibility that they could discount my size 6 and refund me the, the rest, basically, for my other dress that I was going to send back? She said that was completely fine. I sent the size 8 back to give me a refund for that and then give me a discount on the size 6. And I was just so happy. I had the dress I wanted at the price I wanted. And yeah, I'm so happy with everything that I bought. I can't wait to wear them on holiday and just to chill out in the sun. I'm so excited to go to Italy because I have never been. And yeah. Is that the door? Someone just knocked at the door. Hold on a moment. Yeah? <laughs> so, I knew it would arrive. I knew it would arrive when I'm recording, but my Harry Potter book has arrived. So this is just a little um, thing for you guys. There is a book haul coming up that I'm going to be doing, so it'll probably appear in that. But I'm going to show you an unboxing of it because I'm just so excited to open it. It's the release date today and, you know, why not? Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how, how amazing this spine looks. I mean, just look at that. Not even kidding. It's been so long since a new Harry Potter, Harry Potter book has, has been released. I mean, I can still feel the energy and excitement of getting books, books six and seven. I mean, this is, this is unreal. Ugh, it's just, I never thought we would get another Harry Potter book. I know it's a script, but I really want to read it. I want to know about it and I can't get this out. What am I doing? Calm down, Kate, calm down. Oh my gosh. story 19 years later on the back and on the front it says it says special rehearsal edition script oh. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child parts 1 and 2 based on original new story by J.K. Rowling <sighs> oh. part 1 part part 1 act 1 A busy and crowded station full of people trying to go somewhere. Amongst the hustle and bustle, two large cages rattle on top of two London trolleys. They're being pushed by two boys, James Potter and Albus Potter. Their mother, Ginny, follows after, and thir and 37-year-old man, Harry, has his daughter, Lily, on his shoulders. Albus, Dad, he keeps saying it. Harry, James, give it a rest. James, I only said he might be a slithering, and he might, so off his dad's dad's glare fine and albus looking up at his mum you're right to me won't you Ginny? every day if he wanted to albus no not every day james says most people only get letters from home about once a month i don't want to i love, love it love it i will explain and show you more in my um harry, uh, harry potter in my book haul which i will be filming after my holiday around about october time ish because i know there's a few more books coming out then so or maybe you'll see it soon but yeah so happy release date <laughs> i'm so chuffed oh, i haven't even checked the, the front cover <gasps> I'm just gonna be smiling all day now. It's just, ah, I love it. Can't wait to read it. It's gonna go on my shelf. There is enough room on my shelf for this to go right next to my other Harry Potter books. That's how cool it is. Meant to be. That is the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. I will see you guys very soon. Love you. Bye.
green outfit. What? Something on my lip. Harry Potter's Harry Potter. It's Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. That's what it's called. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Yeah. Come in. Okay, I'm nearly done. I'm doing the video. You going um, out? Yeah. <laughs> I just about to ask you that. Dave, uh, Katie texts me saying that David wants might want to go out later. He's found a place where, well, he thinks he's found a place where Charmanders are nesting. So. I want Tratinis. Well, we'll try and get some Tratinis. We'll go be part hopefully. <laughs> well, when are you going though? I don't know. Probably. I don't want to be out like proper late. Probably around about six. I mean, last time we were out till about nine on a Sunday. Yeah, I don't want to be out like any later than much that. later than that. No. Yeah. Or oh, if, if later than that at all, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, I'll be down in a minute. So, I got an email from... Wipe me. 